Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another stuff to do. Now, this one you might have seen TNT cannons elsewhere, but basically, I think I've done one of the best ones. I kind of experimented with it, and I came up with this design. It uses 20 TNT, which is the max you can use on Minecraft Xbox 360 version without it um lagging. It basically takes the TNT up, but yeah, watch. Just watch how well it does. <laughs> you can get above cloud level, so. I don't know if it's the best in the world, I'm not saying it is, but it is pretty dang good, and if you haven't done a TNT cannon, this is a really great one to use. So anyway, let's go and uh, we'll show you how to make it. Alright, so to build your own TNT launcher, the materials you're going to need are a stone block, TNT blocks, a lever, redstone, a redstone repeater, and also blue Kool-Aid. And um, to start this off, we're just going to want to place a little stone block right in the middle. That's going to be like where we're building around, and that's going to be where you're standing on when you get launched. So anyway, I build a little circle around that, and then put um, break three blocks around the edges of the circle to make a little flower. Now, after that flower, we're going to add break one more block along the edges to make this fan um, type shape. So anyway, pause it if you need to look at this, because <laughs> I went kind of quick through there, but... Anyway, put water around the four sides of the stone block, and then you're going to want to surround the whole thing in redstone. This will light the TNT and send you flying in the air. So, do do do, spreading some red dirt uh, on the lawn, and there you go. Now, the redstone won't reach all the way around this, so what we're going to have to do is make repeaters and the lever above where you're going to be standing. So, just build a little off there, break those blocks, and then make a little bridge out to right about here. Put a repeater right there, and then you're going to want to put a repeater on the other side also. Now bridge that gap, and then you're going to want to cover that gap in redstone. Now once you have that done, you are going to also want to put a lever. That will start it. Now don't press the lever before you put the TNT in. I did that and I had to redo the whole take, so don't do that. It's not fun. So anyway, cover the four spots um, that you put the water in. Cover those with TNT. For some reason, it turns the blocks next to it into um, source blocks, but it will still work. So anyway, after you've filled it in with TNT, you now have your own personal TNT launcher that uh, shoots you really high. Although, I didn't really go that high on that launch, but I think it was because I jumped. So anyway, it still works really well. Now, just to show you how far this TNT cannon can shoot your player, I made a little column, that, or not a little column, it's a humongous column that goes all the way up to the max you can build it. So about 128 blocks up and I'm still going like at least 20 blocks higher than that. So it is a really great cannon and it just, yeah, let me just show you how re really far up you go. Just look at that, all the way up into the clouds, that's just so cool. Oh yeah, and one other thing, remember to turn off the redstone before putting TNT in your uh, human cannon, because it can get really freaking annoying, trust me. Alright guys, thanks for watching, if you want to see it, more stuff to do on board of Minecraft, click this green subscribe button to be notified when a new episode comes out. Also, check over here to see episode 3 of my other series, 10 Things You Might Not Know About Minecraft. Other than that, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.